ultra-wide and super-ultra-wide monitors have become somewhat affordable, being at the brink of 1000 euros, still a lot of money for most of us, but also the dream of many sim racers, like me. I finally did it, bought a 49, and it literally gave me a new perspective. In this video, I want to talk about how the super big screen affects my field of view, but also about, let's say, the shortcomings and issues one can have with such a super ultra wide monitor. When I started my channel back in 2021, I used a 32 inch 16 by 9 monitor with a resolution of 2560 to 1440 pixels. That was more than enough at the time. Also because I did not have a proper rig, but instead used a wheel stand and the monitor had to serve multiple purposes. When I finally bought my rig, and by the way, that for me was the best sim racing purchase decision ever, I felt the need for a larger monitor. I ended up with a 34 inch 21 by 9 with 34, 40 to 14, 40 pixels, resulting in a more peripheral image while playing and still not being too big for my rather small but stuffed room. Now, a whole year later, I have finally done it. I have rearranged my setup to make space for a super ultra wide, which I purchased just the other week. It's a 49 inch by AOC, 32 by 9 with 51, 20 to 1440 pixels and 120 hertz refresh rate. Well, what can I say? It literally has given me a new perspective. Since it's basically the size of two 16x9 monitors, there is so much more image at the peripherals. That actually is and was what I was hoping for. And this plus of pixels of image of picture not only enhances my immersion, but also my driving. Simply put, I see more what's going on next to me. It feels like taking off the blinders finally. But why is that? This is a screenshot from a race in Assetto Corsa and what you see here is the field of view in a 16x9 monitor. This is the same scene in a 21 by 9 ultra wide monitor. And this finally is what I see now on my 49 super ultra wide. And this now is the same footage in movement, so to say, going from a 16 by 9 field of view to a 32 by 9 doesn't need much of explanation to see how much wider the view gets. Moreover, and that's another positive for me, the 49 covers my natural field of view much better than the 34. I sit 58 centimeters away from the monitor and with the 34, there was still a lot of my physical room in my vision and also on my footage when recording with the GoPro, for example. With the 49, however, now that's not the case anymore. Almost my whole natural vision or field of view is now covered by the game picture. Much less distraction, more immersion, more focus. But before you ask, no, I do not have the room for triples or quadruples. But what? then is your perfect field of view in the respective sims. Well, there are a couple of ways to get the right value for you. I used to stick to FOV calculators that you can find on the web. The one you see here is called Modern Field of View FOV Calculator. Just Google for it, you'll find it. And in that one, as you might know, you fill in the boxes for your screen ratio 
for your screen size. And then the distance you sit away from your screen. And that's a crucial one. There it says 54 centimeters, while I, in fact, sit away 58 centimeters from the screen. And why is that? A couple of weeks ago, I watched a video by Race Beyond Matter on the topic why your FOV is wrong. This video was sort of an eye-opener for me because Chippy explains why 54 centimeters is your fixed point, no matter how far away we sit from the actual screen. And why is that? I mean, why should someone put 55 centimeters in when he or she sits 80 centimeters away from the screen? Chippy says, because nature, our physiological, our natural field of view coming from our eyes is always about 54 centimeters, only slightly differing depending on the actual distance of your two eyes. So for someone it's maybe 53, for another one it's 56. Average value is 54 centimeters. I've done that and it works for me. Check it out for yourselves. I think it's worth a try. On the right side, you can see the resulting values. For AMS2, it is 96 degrees. That's the value for Project Cars 1 and 2 here. That's cockpit view, of course. I use a slightly lower value, namely 92. For the helmet view, for a set of Corsa and ACC, it's 34.7. And for race room, it's 95.8 degrees. However, Apart from this actual value, I always tweak the actual seating position of me or the driver in the car. But that's up to you, of course. That's, again, personal preference. Like, honestly, essentially, the whole super ultra wide thing is basically emotional and not factual. Let me be clear about this. You definitely do not need a super ultra wide monitor to be fast or have fun in sim racing. 32 inches full HD in a rig can be absolutely enough. Why not? Look at Jardia, for example, he does it that way. And he's one of the fastest guys in ACC. Also for content creation, a super ultra wide is not necessarily better. Because apart from the huge amount of bits and bytes that are generated when recording 51, 20 to 1440 footage, the large majority of users still use common 16 by 9 devices or tablets and smartphones with their native dimensions and resolutions to watch YouTube videos. So consuming content in a super ultra wide format is not much of a joy on these devices, to be honest. And that also is the reason why I will mainly stick to the, let's say, common video formats of 16x9 or 21x9. I will then just crop and trim my native ultra-wide resolution to these more digestible formats. For me personally, however, the main benefit of a super ultra-wide lies in the actual playing. My subjective sensations and feelings when racing. And that, in my opinion, is always super legit. So that's it for today, guys. Tell me what you think in the comments. I'd be curious to know what your experiences are. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good time. See you on the next one. Bye bye.